Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach who has lost and maintained a 140 pound weight loss. And it is Monday, so it's meal prep day. I have three amazing fall inspired, we are getting into fall recipes for you. You're not going to wanna miss them. So if you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not, turn your bell on because I do a meal prep every Monday. Down in the description box at the very top, I will have my recipe website. That is where you will find all of today's recipes as well as nutrition coaching. Highly recommend those personalized macros and calories. That's what I followed to lose and maintain my 140 pound weight loss as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching for questions, accountability, or to talk with me directly. Links, discounts to my favorite things, and my free amazing supportive Facebook group, come join us, we would love to have you, are all down in that description box. I just ran a 5K and I'm ready to prep for the week, so let's head on into the kitchen. For breakfast this week, I'm making maple sweetened banana muffins. I'm so excited for these. I'm going to pair these with some protein, maybe some eggs, turkey sausage, some fruit, we'll just see what I put together for breakfast, but let me show you what's in the muffins. You're going to need milk of your choice. I'm using Fairlife, unsweetened applesauce, rolled oats, flour, regular sugar. You can even use raw sugar. We're just sprinkling this on top, so you want it to be granulated. Cinnamon, maple syrup. I just got the chalk zero maple syrup. I'm really excited to try this out. Netrition carries almost the full line of Chalk Zero products, and I do have a 10% discount for Netrition. I'll link it for you. Baking soda, three really ripe bananas, two eggs, vanilla extract, and some salt. So to get started on our muffins, I'm adding a third of a cup of unsweetened applesauce, half of a cup of sugar-free syrup, and two eggs at room temp. And then I'm going to mix all of this together. And then a quarter cup of Fairlife milk. And I mashed up my three bananas. You want about a cup total. And then I'm going to mix that in. And then I'm adding one and three quarters cups flour. And a third cup of rolled oats. About a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And a teaspoon of baking soda. I'm going to stir this to fully combine. Now you can add mix-ins. You could do nuts, chocolate chips, chia seeds. I actually have a little bit of roasted pecans in my cabinet left over from when I did the Panera strawberry poppy seed salad. I think I'm going to add those. The recipe on my website will be without any add-ins. So whatever you decide to add, if anything, would be additional points and calories. So I have about a half of a cup of pecan. So I'm going to add that in, give it one one final stir and we're ready to get this divided out into our muffin cups. I sprayed my muffin pan with nonstick cooking spray and I want 12 muffins total. I have a tablespoon of oats. I'm just going to top each of my muffins with just a little sprinkle of oats. And about a teaspoon of sugar, I'm just going to divide that amongst the muffins and sprinkling that right on top. The muffins are going to into a 325 degree oven for about 22 to, 22 to 25 minutes or until they're cooked through. The muffins are out of the oven. Oh my gosh, these look so good. They look, they look like little bakery muffins and they smell amazing. I'm going to allow them to cool. I'll pop them out of the muffin pan and I'll be back to share points, calories, and macros. So here are the muffins. Like I said, these look absolutely incredible. I can't wait to have these this week. What I love about this is there's no refined sugar, just that tiny sprinkle on top. It's one teaspoon among six, 12 muffins and all the sweetness is coming from bananas and then maple syrup. So really good healthy muffin option. So again, I'll be pairing this with some protein for a healthy breakfast. For my lunch this week, I'm making white chicken chili in my instant pot. You can also make this in your slow cooker on your stove top, lots of options for this, I'm just going to throw it in my instant pot. So let me show you what you'll need. You're going to need minced garlic. This is just chicken broth, leftover chicken broth. White beans of your choice. For seasoning, you want cumin, chili pepper, and chili powder, and then it called for cayenne. I'm not adding that. We don't really like spicy. Salt and pepper, mild green chilies, a yellow onion, one third less fat cream cheese. You need four ounces, and a pound of chicken breast or chicken tenderloin. So the first thing I did is turn my Instant Pot on to saute. I'm going to spray it with some nonstick cooking spray. Add my chopped up onion. And a scoop of minced garlic. And we're going to let that start to saute down and get soft. 
Once your onions are softened, go ahead and turn off your Instant Pot. We're going to add in about a half a cup of chicken broth and just scrape up any brown bits on the bottom. Add the remaining one and a half cups of broth. Then we're adding in our can of green chilies, the two cans of drained and rinsed beans, and all of our seasonings, cumin, chili powder. If you're using cayenne, you'll add that, and salt and pepper. Give that a quick stir. We just want to make sure everything is mixed and under the liquid. I'm gonna pop my lid on. We're gonna cook it on high for 12 minutes. So my alarm just went off. I'm going to release all of the pressure. Now we need to shred up the chicken, so you can pull it out and shred it up. I'm just going to quickly shred it up right in the Instant Pot. It is so juicy and tender that it shreds really easily. Then I'm adding in my four ounces of softened cream cheese, and we're going to let that just melt in the pot. It'll make it nice and creamy. And the recipe calls for a quarter cup of fresh cilantro. I did not buy fresh cilantro, but I have dried. So I'm going to add a little bit of dried cilantro as well. So here is the white chicken chili. This looks so good. This whole bowl is only six serving. It does say you can top it with your favorite things like sour cream, guacamole, avocado. I think I'll add some avocado, tortilla chips, so many options with this. High protein, lots of fiber, perfect, perfect fall lunch. For dessert this week, a sweet treat, a snack, I'm making apple bread. Again, another quintessential fall recipe. So let me show you what you'll need. You're going to need all-purpose flour, regular sugar, and then sugar substitute. This is allulose. You guys know it's my favorite alternative sugar. It's naturally derived from figs and raisins, so I think it tastes the most like regular sugar. I absolutely love it. I buy it on Amazon. I will link it for you. Unsweetened applesauce, cinnamon, and I'm going to use apple pie spice. You can also use nutmeg, but apple pie spice is perfect in anything apple flavored for fall. Lots of apples because we need two cups total. Vanilla extract, baking powder, pecans, two eggs at room temp, and some salt. So the first thing I'm going to do is peel and chop up my eggs, and then I'm going to get my pecans roast, toasting up in the oven. So to get started on our bread, I'm adding one and three quarters cups of flour, half of a cup of allulose, one teaspoon of baking powder, cinnamon, and the apple pie spice. And I'm going to give that a quick mix just to combine. Then I'm going to add one cup of my toasted pecans. I do keep the extras in my cupboard. I love topping my yogurt bowl with these. Definitely toast them. It brings out all of the flavor. I have a third of a cup of unsweetened applesauce, a teaspoon of vanilla extract, two eggs at room temperature, and then our diced up apples. And then we're going to mix together until combined. I did add a tiny bit of water. There's just not a lot of liquid in here. I mean, the only liquid was that little bit of unsweetened applesauce and those couple of eggs. So I added just a tiny bit of water just to get more of a bread-like consistency. I sprayed my bread pan really, really well with nonstick cooking spray, and then we're going to add in the batter. I think I said bread consistency, but you know what I mean, batter consistency. I would say that I had to add about, I don't know, a quarter cup of water or so. I will say this definitely, definitely smells like fall. Our bread is going into a 350 degree oven for about 35, 40 minutes just until it is cooked through. The apple bread is out of the oven. This also smells like fall, even better baked. I am going to let it cool a little bit, then I'll cut it up into slices and I'll be back to share points, calories, and macros. So I sliced the bread into 10 slices. Again, I'll put all the information here on the screen for you. Thank you for joining me for this week's meal prep. I hope you enjoyed all of the fall inspired recipes. This is my favorite time of year. I actually have a fall baking video coming your way pretty soon. So make sure you're subscribed, turn your bell notifications on so you don't miss it. And don't forget in the description box at the top is my recipe website where you will find all of today's recipes, nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things, and my free Facebook group. Come join us. We would love to have you. Oh, and if you missed it in the community tab, I have announced, posted the holiday challenge. So if you want help making it through the last three months of the year and not gaining the 10 to 12 pounds, that's normal. Come join our holiday challenge. I'll put the link down below for you. It is part of my Facebook group. So come join us. We'd love to have you. Happy Monday, friends. See you next time.
Bye. Bye.